This is my second time recording this. So as some of you might know, I do editing on a bigger channel called Tio. Tio is my friend and boss, and I get to do a lot of editing on this channel, which means I do a lot of editing. <laughs> so with all this editing, I learn a lot of tips and tricks on how to improve my workflow, and I do a lot of effects, and it's really nice to, to, to learn, you know? So we used to do an editing class on Tio's channel for the members on there, but uh, we've stopped a few months ago, so I thought maybe we just put it on this channel. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna, you know, start this series. So we're just gonna do a nice effect that I think is uh, simple, but can be complicated if you don't know how to do it. So this is the shot I decided to show you guys. I'm going insane! He's going crazy. So as you can see in this effect, like it's tracked to your face, which is honestly the toughest part of this. It's not really hard, but it's just, uh, I personally thought there would be an easier way to do it. So what I'm using uh, today is uh, After Effects. After Effects is by Adobe, which you can get for yourself for only $44 Canadian a month. That's around 35 US dollars. <laughs> I swear I made this video like a, a year and a half back and it was only like 20 bucks a month. And it's just a good job, Adobe. You really, you're really killing it. So if you want to follow along, uh, obviously you can either buy it, uh, well, rent it, get a maybe a free trial, or just find a way to get it yourself. But for most of the tutorials that are gonna be related to editing, editing, I think most can be done in all softwares. I just want to start it off with something a little cool. So if there's any like effects you guys want to see me talk about, or tricks you guys have been wondering about editing, just anything about workflow related, or you know, just anything, uh, just leave it in the comments below. <laughs> So here we are in After Effects. Uh, this is the uh, the original com composition. And what's really cool about this, as you see, is it's only two layers. Very simple effect. So this is the original footage. There's no sound. Deal with it. So what we're going to start off with here is uh, add a new effect called an adjustment layer. Wrong. You said layer. Yeah, I don't know what, what's wrong with me. Yeah, we're going to add an adjustment layer. And what is an adjustment layer, you might ask? So it's like, it, it's like as if you put plexiglass in front of your... Uh, front, it's like if you put le plex wow. It's like if you put plexiglass in front of your camera lens and you drew on it, so it can affect everything that's behind that plexiglass, you know? So let's say I've got me whipping and I've got Tio screaming and I want to affect both of those. I go to the adjustment layer and I add something like curves, which, you know, is a like color correction. Then I just crank that shit up and boom, as you can see, it affects both of us. So on that adjustment layer, we're going to add this effect called liquify, but we're not going to do anything yet with it. We're going to go back to our, our actual footage. We're going to call it footage and we're gonna do a mask around his face so with the layer selected we're gonna press G or this button and just do a mask around his face and now you're like oh no his face has been ripped off but that's okay you just go to the mask properties and then you'll have add and you're just gonna put it to none and now he's fine and we're gonna right click the mask track mask and then we're gonna choose the method as face tracking detailed features if you don't do that, no worky. So what it's gonna do is gonna he's gonna take the details from all the parts of his face, like his mouth, his eyes, and his eyebrows. And if you don't, you only have the outline, and that tracking data is not good enough for what we're gonna do. So we're gonna just go ahead and track, and then we're gonna wait nine years. It has now been a nine years, and he's got dot on his face. So these dots on his face are all tracking points of uh, you know different parts of his uh, face, and as you can see, a lot of them are moving. And personally. Every time I've done this effect, the most reliable point on your face is the nose bridge. Why is that? I mean, when you talk and you scream and you're going insane, so all these points move, but the only point that doesn't move is your nose bridge. So we're going to base the tracking off that nose bridge. So we're going to open that nose tab here, and you see nose bridge right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the liquify effect, and liquify is where we're going to do all the... Blah, 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 blah. So just to give myself a reference point, I'm going to go ahead and mess with his eye a little bit. I'm going to make it a bit bigger like that. And we're going to go to the distortion mesh offset and we're going to click around here. Now, as you can see, it's gone now. Uh Oh, so we're just going to move this point until it's at the eye. There we go. Now we're going to do that one more time because I'm stupid. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to link that nose bridge to that point. Basically, so we're going to go to the adjustment layer uh, effects. We can just press E as well. Liquify. Boom. Uh, we got the distortion mesh offset. And we're gonna alt click, alt click this uh, stopwatch here. Boom, it's red and now we've got text. I'm terrified. That's okay, don't panic. We've got this pick whip here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our main footage layer and we're gonna pick whip the nose bridge. Boom. And now again, the eye is gone. Uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this, whatever the fuck this is saying, and we're gonna add plus value. I'm a coder, baby. 
So what this does is basically you tell this expression that you want it to track or whatever, plus I want to do my own shit on the side. So if you go to distortion mesh offset, we're going to have, as you can see, it's tracked exactly on the nose bridge, which is perfect. So what's also great about the plus value is that now, not only is it following that nose bridge, we can set it anywhere we want and it'll still follow the nose bridge, but offset. So we just have to go back and try to find where the eyes a bit distorted. So as you can see, this is why I said this effect is a bit like finicky. Uh, it's not that hard to do, but is this the easiest way? <laughs> so we're just going to go in and uh, we can uh, just try to reset the eye the best we can. And then uh, we're just going to just ruin him. So let's say this is what you want it to look like, right? This is disgusting. So I think now it's all it's all linked. So we can just play it ahead. And now we've got this monstrosity unraveling in front of our eyes. And it's all tracked perfectly and it looks okay. So now you got yourself a freak and you can do it on your own for, for, for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I, like I said, I wasn't really sure exactly uh, where to start with this. I thought we'd start with something a little cool. But um, if there's anything you want to know, just uh, comment below and uh, I'll, I'll get to it. And uh, I'll answer any questions you have in the comments as well. So make sure to comment to any questions you have. Um, peace out. Mm -hmm.